Hey everybody, it's time to learn. Okay, we're on Leviticus uh, 20, starting on verse 1. All right. And Jehovah went on speaking to Moses, saying, You are to say to the sons of Israel, any man of the sons of Israel, and any alien resident who resides as an alien in Israel, who gives any of his offspring to Molech, should be put to death without fail. The people of the land should pelt him to death with stones. And as for me, I shall set my face against that man, and I will cut him off from among his people, because he has given some of his offspring to Molech for the purpose of defiling my holy place and to profane my holy name. And if the people of the land should deliberately hide their eyes from that man when he gives any of his offering to Molech by not putting him to death, then I, for my part, shall certainly fix my face against that man and his family. And I shall indeed cut him and those who have immoral intercourse along with him and having immoral intercourse with Molech off from among their people. As for the soul who turns himself to the spirit mediums and the professional foretellers of events so as to have immoral intercourse with them, I shall certainly set my face against that soul and cut him off from among his people. And you must sanctify yourselves and prove yourselves holy. Because I am Jehovah your God, and you must keep my statutes and do them. I am Jehovah who is sanctifying you. In case there should be any man who calls down evil upon his father and his mother, he should be put to death without fail. It is his father and his mother upon whom he has called down evil. His own blood is upon him. Now a man who commits adultery with another man's wife is one who commits adultery with the wife of his fellow man. He should be put to death without fail, the adulterer and the adulteress as well. And the man who lies down with his father's wife has laid down the, bacon, the nakedness of his father. Both of them should be put to death without fail. Their own blood is upon them, and where a man lies down with his daughter-in-law, both of them should be put to death without fail. They have committed a violation of what is natural. Their own blood is upon them. And when a man lies down with a male the same as one lies down with a woman, both of them have done a detestable thing. They should be put to death without fail. Their own blood is upon them. And where a man takes a woman and her mother, it is loose conducts. They should burn him and then in the fire, in order that loose conduct may not continue in your midst. And where a man gives his seminal emission to a beast, he should be put to death without fail, and you should kill the beast. And where a woman approaches any beast to have connection with it, you must kill the woman and the beast, they should be put to death without fail. Their own blood is upon them. And where a man takes his sister, the daughter of his father or the daughter of his mother, and he sees her nakedness, and she herself sees his nakedness, it is a shame, so they must be cut off before the eyes of the sons of their people. It is the nakedness of his sister that he has laid bare. He should answer for his error. And where a man lies down with a menstruating woman and does lay bare her nakedness, he has exposed her source, and she herself has laid bare the source of her blood. So both of them must be cut off from among their people. And the nakedness of your mother's sister and of your father's sister you must not lay bare, because it is the blood relation that one has exposed. They should answer for their error, and a man who lies down with his uncle's wife has laid bare the nakedness of his uncle. Hmm. That's interesting. Very, it's like a lot of details on how you're supposed to act. And where a man takes his brother's wife, it is something abhorrent. It is the nakedness of his brother that he has laid bare. They should become childless. And you people must keep all my statutes and all my judicial decisions and do them, that the land to which I am bringing you to dwell in it may not vomit you out. And you must not walk in the statutes of the nations whom I am sending out from before you, because they have done all these things, and I abhor them. Hence I said to you, you for your part will take possession of their ground, and I for my part shall give it to you to take possession of it, a land flowing with milk and honey. Jehovah your God I am, who have divided you off from the peoples, and you must make a distinction between the clean beast and the unclean, 
and between the clean fowl and the, the unclean fowl. And you must not make your souls loathsome with the beast and the fowl of anything that moves on the ground that I have divided off for you in declaring them unclean. And you must prove yourselves holy to me, because I, Jehovah, am holy. And I am proceeding to divide you off from the peoples to become mine. And as for a man or a woman in whom there proves to be a mediumistic spirit or spirit of prediction, they should be put to death without fail. They should pelt them to death with stones. Their own blood is upon them. Wow. Okay, Leviticus 21, verse 1. And Jehovah went on to say to Moses, Talk to the priests, Aaron's sons, and you must say to them, For a deceased soul, no one may defile himself among his people. But for a blood relation of his who is close to him, for his mother, or for his father, and for his son, and for his daughter, and for his brother, and for his sister, a virgin is close to him who has not become a man's, for her he may defile himself. He may not defile himself for a woman possessed by an owner among his people, so as to make himself profane. They should not produce baldness upon their heads, and the extremity of their beard they should not shave. Oh, don't shave your beard. And on their flesh they should not make an incision. They should prove themselves holy to their God, and they should not profane the name of their God, because they are those presenting Jehovah offerings made by fire the bread of their God, and they must prove themselves holy. A prostitute or a violated woman they should not take, and a woman divorced from her husband they should not take because he is holy to his God. Why not? That seems kind of sad. So you must sanctify him because he is one presenting the bread of your God. He should prove to be holy to you, because I, Jehovah, who am sanctifying you, am holy. Now in case the daughter of a priest should make herself profane by committing prostitution, it is her father that she is profaning. She should be burned on the fire. What? What about redemption and forgiveness? And as for the high priest of his brothers upon whose head the anointing oil would be poured and whose hand was filled with power to wear the garments, he should not let his head go ungroomed and he should not tear his garments and he should not come to any dead soul. For his father and his mother he may not defile himself. He should also not go out from the sanctuary and not profane the sanctuary of his God. Because the sign of dedication, the anointing oil of his God, is upon him. I am Jehovah. And for his part, he should take a woman in her virginity. As for a widow or a divorced woman, and one violated, a prostitute, none of these may he take. But he should take a virgin from his people as wife, and he should not profane his seed among his people, because I am Jehovah who is sanctifying him. And Jehovah continued to speak to Moses, saying, Speak to Aaron, saying, No man of your seed throughout their generations, in whom there proves to be a defect, may come near to present the bread of his God. A defect, huh. In case there is any man in whom there is a defect, he may not come near, a man blind or lame, or with his nose slit, or with one member too long, or a man in whom there proves to be a fracture of the foot, or a fracture of the hand, or a hunchback, or thin, or deceased in his eyes, or scabby, or having ringworms, or having his testicles broken. Any man of the seed of Aaron, the priest in whom there is a defect, may not approach to present Jehovah's offerings made by fire. He may eat the bread of his God from the most holy things and from the holy things. However, he may not come near the curtain, and he may not approach the altar, because there is a defect in him, and he should not profane my sanctuary. For I am Jehovah who is sanctifying them. Accordingly, Moses spoke to Aaron and his sons and all the sons of Israel. Wow. So the people with deformities, they can be part of it, but they can't serve it.